Hi guys, welcome. In case you're wondering, this is the Using the Dictionary webinar right now. So it looks like I got people still popping on, so I'm just gonna give it a minute. But if you want to type your name into the q and I'd love to see who's here. Who's, um, who's showing up for this Using the Dictionary in class? I'm excited, this is a really fun workbook. So if you don't already know, you wanna have the Using the Dictionary workbook. I will have it up on my uh, computer as well, so you guys can see it. I won't be holding it up like this, but you should have the digital copy of this, which means the one on your computer, you should be able to open that up. Um, hi, Milo, thanks for checking in. Who else is out there? Um, also raise your hand for me if you're here, if you've already come to my earlier using the dictionary uh, seminar, like if you already did this and we did a, the earlier part we did. Yeah, I remember you, Jacob. Hi, welcome back. Um, anyone else that came to the earlier one? Hi, Aubrey, welcome. Hi, Aurora, living in Panama, that's cool. Hi, welcome. Anyone else here who came to Alara and Alte, hi, welcome you guys. Thanks for joining. Um, anyone else that has already done part one? We'll do a quick overview of part one. It's basically um, what we've done so far is we've just talked about um, dictionaries and what kind of information you find in them. So I have a couple of different dictionaries here. I have this one, Oxford Junior Illustrated Dictionary. Pretty cool one, it's got lots of cool pictures, as you can see. Um, I also have this one, Webster's New World Children's Dictionary. And I have one more, the American Heritage Children's Dictionary. So we will be looking at um, various things in all of these dictionaries to kind of see what the differences are. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and screen share right now and show you guys the using the dictionary workbook so you can just see that. So we're gonna go through, we've already done part one in the, in the last one. Oh, cool, Aurora says we have the Us Born Illustrated Dictionary. That's a great dictionary. I'm glad you guys have that. So you'll be able to tell me what you see in there and how it's different from what I see in my dictionaries. So we're just gonna skip through all of this. This is all part of part one, which we did the last time we had this class. Um, and it's basically just kind of talking about what information you can see in a dictionary. And we're going to go here to part two, putting things in order. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read this first page. We're going to do that. Okay, and you guys can type uh, into the chat if you have any um, questions. Like I see there's a couple of raised hands. So I just want you guys to go ahead and um, type your questions into the chat so I can see them there, okay? If you have a question. Okay, cool. Um, I remember Jacob and Aubrey from, from previous classes, so thanks for checking in. Okay, cool, so here we go. Sometimes when you have a lot of things in a pile, it can be hard to find the one you need. When you put the things in order, it's easier to see them and find the one you want. Order is how things are arranged. There are many different ways to arrange things. Here are just a few of them. You can put them by size from shortest to tallest. So here we have this little turtle and then we got this, well, I think that's a meerkat, what is that? And then we have a rhinoceros and a giraffe. And then we have the next one, it says you can put them by weight from the heaviest to the lightest. Okay, we're gonna go into the next page. You can put them by shades from dark to light you could even arrange them by the colors of the rainbow. So here we have this one, red, orange, yellow, blue, blue, violet. Maybe that middle one's supposed to be green. I'm not sure. Okay, so now we're gonna do an activity. So um, we have a couple of options here. We're just gonna pick one thing. I want you guys to look around where you are and I want you to find something that you have more enough of to put them in order and pick a way that you wanna put them in order and then go ahead and tell me what you did. Okay, so I want you guys to find something and put them in order or figure out a way that you can put them in order and then go ahead and let me know what you found and what order you're putting them in. So I'm going to, uh, one second, I'm gonna go ahead and I've got something here. So I'm gonna go over and grab it. I 
I'm going to stop share so you guys can see what I have here. And we're gonna put them in order. I'm gonna do biggest to littlest. So we have that one and then this one and I'll move it. I think you guys, well, I'm actually gonna probably have to put it all the way back here so you can see it. So I'm gonna put mine in order here. And I'm gonna do the smallest one I can find. That one shorter, okay, good. So there we have biggest to smallest. So that's the order I did. I have, um, Anya says, I put my pens in rainbow order. That's awesome. That's so cool that you had enough pens to put in rainbow order. And then Alan says, Legos. Well, what order did you put your Legos in, Alan? Can you tell us what order you put those in? I'd love to know. So obviously when you have a big something like this, it's not in order, and then we can organize them. Here's another one we can put in color order by color, right? So that's another way. And these are like, like we said, when we're doing color, we're organizing things. We're picking the order that they go in. Okay. Alan says he did his Legos and rainbow. That's awesome. That's a great way to order things. Very cool. Okay, good. Um, Aurora says I can put my markers in rainbow. Perfect. These are great answers, you guys. I think rainbow should just be the best order. We should just do everything in rainbow order. I've seen bookshelves done in rainbow order. That's a really fun way. It looks really pretty. Okay, we're gonna go back now to the reading. There we go. All right. On this page, we're gonna do a little bit of research to find examples of order. Look around the room you are in. Try to find an area where the things seem messy and do not seem to have any kind of order. It could be a very small area or a large area. When you find one, write what you see. Okay, Aubrey says, I put my permanent markers in rainbow order. Awesome, Aubrey, that's very cool. Okay, so I wanna know, look around and see if you can find something that is not in order, that looks messy, and tell me what it is. <clears throat> All right, we have Chris here who says, my mom's desk is not in order. It's very messy. Good. That is a good answer. Aurora says, yes, our second floor classroom. Good. So it's not in order, right? Not organized. All right. Aubrey says, my bookcase. Great answer. Okay. Anyone else? Oh, we got Anya, my room. Ethan says, crayon box. Okay, great. Well done, you guys. Anyone else have anything that they spot? Uh, Kiyocha says, my books, they're everywhere. <laughs> okay, good. Alan says, Pokemon cards. Mm. Okay, shoes, those are definitely, I like to have my shoes in order for sure. All right, good. Now we're gonna do, Rowan says, a lot of computer stuff on the floor. Great, that's awesome, you guys. Okay, so, and Aubrey says, my crayons. Okay, good. So now I want you to look around the room you're in, try to find an area where things are in some kind of order. Remember, it could be a very small area or a large area, write where you find, when you find one, write what you see. So it's, you would write it into the Q&A, okay? So that way I can see it. So I want you guys to look around where you are, take a look and tell me when you see something that is in order. Now you guys can't see it, but I do have a bookshelf over there and that bookshelf is in order. The books are like nicely leaned up and they're, they're not really like by size, but they do look neat and in order. Ethan says his DVD cabinet. That's a great answer. Aurora says our fiction bookcase. Cool. So one of your bookcases is nice. Aubrey says my desk. Awesome. Milo or Milo says my grandma's books. Very cool. Anya says my folder is awesome. You guys, these are great. Keep them coming. Okay, good. So we're going to go on to the next page here. All right. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do, it's gonna be get a dictionary. So I'm gonna go back to the workbook here so you guys can see it while I read, okay? Um, Aurora says, and my Lego girl's house, great. Boxes stacked on top of each other, good. Rowan, that's a great answer. Kiyosha says, my drink bottles, I put them in flavor order. My favorites are first and then the ones I do not like so much. That's a great order, good job, being very organized. Asher says, my schoolwork, good. Okay, good. So we're on to this one here. I want you guys to get your dictionary and open it to the words that start with the letter A. So Aubrey says my stuffed animals. That's great. 
Oh, okay, good. Milo, did I get it right? Milo is saying, he's telling me how to pronounce his name. Hi, Milo. I hope I'm saying it right now. Let me know if I'm not. Okay, good. So I'm going to do that. I have my dictionary here and I'm going to open it to the letter A, just like um, it says to do. Okay, great. Um, so we're going to open it to the letter A. Find a picture of an animal that starts with the letter A. So I'm just looking through my book here and, oh, I already found one. So if you guys can see that. Oh, maybe back a little bit. That is an antelope. It's not a very clear picture, sorry, because I can't get the camera to focus on it. But I want you guys to tell me what animal do you find when you look in your dictionary under the A's to find. I've got another one here, just in case anybody's at home. Oh, the first word is aardvark, aurora, alligator. Asher says alligator, awesome. I just got to that one too. Here's my alligator. And I also have this one over here. Okay, we got ant, Rowan says alligator. Great, good, what else do we got? Ape, ooh, that's a good one. Okay, good, armadillo, awesome. Okay, when you find one, color the box with the letter A on the roll of film. Okay, so we can't really do this, but um, what, unless you guys have printed this out. So what they want you to do in the workbook is they want you to, when you find an animal for that letter, to color it in. So if you have this printed out, then you can color it in. If you don't, we'll just go on to the next one. So I'm going to do B. You can pick any letter you want. I just want you guys to pick a couple of your favorite I just turned to one of my daughter's favorite. My daughter is seven, her name is Pixie, and that is her favorite animal. I don't know if you guys can see it there. A leopard, she loves leopards. She always wants to buy leopard clothes. So when you find another animal that you love um, for your letter, tell me what your letter is, and then tell me what your animal is that you found for it. I just found another really cute one. Okay, we got Rowan says penguin. Great, what other animals can you guys find? Oh, and tiger, awesome. Okay, T, tiger, great. Koala, good job. Okay, I want you guys to um, find something, find an animal that starts with the letter P. Okay, I found one. What did you guys, what are you guys finding? Pig, pug, parrot, awesome. Okay, good. Polar bear, I just found polar bear. Good. We've got Jacob says pug, Rowan says parrot. Pig. Ethan says pig. Great. Oh, AG says panther. That's a great one. My daughter loves all the cats. Alan says zebra. Great. Aurora, panda, peacock, a pronghorn. Milo, that's a cool one. Parrot. Good. Panda. Great. Okay, let's find one that starts with S. Everybody find me an animal that starts with S. Hmm, let's see. Snake. Good. I'm not finding any animals yet. Well, I see a picture of an animal, but it's not a wood. Oh, here we go. Here's mine. S, one snail and slug. On one snail's over on this page and the slug is on this page. What are you guys finding? Asher has a dinosaur. Okay. Honey badger. <laughs> snake, snake, salamander, scorpion fish. That sounds cool. Scorpion, snail, spaniel. Salmon, scallop, salamander. Great job, you guys. Okay, raise your hand if you have this workbook printed out. I just want to know how many of you guys have printed this out at home. Jacob does. Anyone else? Who else has? Aubrey has it. Okay, great. So there's definitely a good amount of you guys that have. Let's see. There's a good amount of you that have it, but um, there's definitely a lot. So it, we're probably going to have this class again next week. So before you guys come for next week, um, definitely print this out or have your mom and dad print this out for you because um, then we can do these fun drawings and stuff like that. So we're going to skip the drawing one for right now. Um, but I do want you to give me the answer. It says, which picture from the last activity was your favorite? So type in really fast which animal that you saw was your favorite animal. Let's see. We've got... Pug, stonefish, spaniel, turtle. I love turtles too. Anyone else have a favorite animal they want to tell us about that you saw a picture for? Parrot? Anyone else? 
Okay, good. We're gonna go on to part three. So we're gonna, I'm gonna, a bear. <laughs> I love bears. Dogs, I love dogs too, Kiosha. That's a great one. Aubrey says honey badger. Awesome. Okay, good. I'm gonna go back to sharing my screen so you, if you don't have this, you can see. Okay, good. So we're gonna go on to the next part. Here we go. Part three, using the alphabet. Asher says my favorite was a dinosaur. Dinosaurs are awesome. Okay, we got some funny marks here. What are these marks? Answer, they are all letters. A letter is a mark that stands for a spoken sound. Every one of these marks stands for the D sound you hear in dog, d, d, dog. So we have first in the first circle, we have this little triangle one, and then we have this other shape here. That is the Greek letter for D. And then we have the English letter for D. And then the last one, that's right, Delta. AG says Delta, that is what they call it. And then we have the Russian letter for D. Before letters were invented, instead of writing words, people wrote using pictures for things. Since there were thousands of things in the world, people had to learn hundreds and hundreds of marks to be able to read and write. We are lucky to have only 26 letters to learn. And this little drawing over here, or this is the ancient Egyptian way of writing. They would use these little marks and they would each have a different meaning. Yes, that's right, AJ. AG says hieroglyphs. That's right, that's exactly what those are. Okay, good. So now we're going to find these countries on a map. So um, let's see, we don't have a map, but um, what you guys could do is you could try looking up in your dictionary, or if you don't have one, you can check it on Google. And you can look and see, most dictionaries will have a map in the back. So I'm gonna pull up my world map in the back. And I'm, oh cool, Aurora says we have an atlas. That's awesome, I love atlases. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the share. We're gonna look at my map here. So let me see, here we go. Okay, so this big yellow one right here, this big yellow one right here, that's Russia. So we found the letter D from the Russian alphabet, and this is Russia. And just to, so you know where we are, over here is France, and here is England or the United Kingdom, and over here is China, and so we have Russia right here, okay? And then we also had on the list, we had the United States. So we will pull that up. One second, Paris, the United States, Asia, Africa, South America, Europe, Central, Canada, Mexico, United States. The first one, here we go. So here is the United States and we saw the letter D for the United States and in in where we speak English. It would be the same in the United Kingdom where they also speak English. And there's another country that speaks English too. There's lots of them, but one of them would be this one. So if you guys can tell me which one this one is without me saying it. Once I find it, where are you? There it is. Can you guys see what country that is? It's a little hard to see, isn't it? So if I go this way, I'm talking about this one right over here. Can you tell me what country that is? Go a little closer. It's Australia, that's right. AG got that. Okay, good. Great. So, and then I think the last one was Greece, right? Does anybody have that? Raise your hand if you've already found that in yours. So here's Greece on my map. Jacob found it. Awesome, Jacob. Okay, so down here is Greece. So we were looking at, this is Russia over here, and then here's Greece. Here's France. There's the United Kingdom. Okay, awesome. We're going to go on to the next step. Okay. We are now gonna go okay I'm gonna go back to screen sharing so you guys can see my workbook just think that way it's easier to read along together okay here we go we call our letters from A to Z the alphabet our alphabet has been used by people for over 1,000 years and it's changed only a little bit in all that time the letter Z was removed from the alphabet for almost 200 years. That is so cool, I actually didn't know that. Here they drew a little zebra and he's saying, I'm really glad they returned it. That's funny, I wonder what, what they did 
um, from Greece, alpha, beta, first two letters. That's right. Okay, good. So what is the first letter in the alphabet? I think you guys know this, but go ahead and type it in. Let's see. Maybe I can do like a little poll. A, Rowan says A, AG says A, that's right, Alan, A, Aurora. You guys get 100% pass for knowing the first letter of the alphabet. That was a tricky one. I almost got you, but I didn't. Okay, good. What is the last letter of the alphabet? Let's hear it. That's right. We got Z, lots of Zs coming in. You guys are so smart. Oh my gosh, look at this group. I've got the best group ever in my class. Okay, cool. So now, what letter seems nearest to the middle? This is a good one. So we have, Rowan says M. I would agree, that would be my first guess. We have 26 letters in the alphabet, right? And um, so half of that would be letter number 13. So I think probably M and N are, but let's count it out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Yep, M. There we go. That's the middle of the alphabet. Okay, so find the word letter in a dictionary and read what it says. So if you have a dictionary, go ahead and look that up and we will do it. And just in case you don't, I'm going to look it up in my dictionary here and we'll see what it says. But if you have one at home, I want to see if we can see what the different, I want you guys to tell me what you have in your dictionary so we can see how they're a little bit different. Okay, so mine says a mark used in writing that stands for a speech sound. There are 26 letters in the English alphabet. Okay, good. So now we know each letter sounds is stands for a different sound in our language, right? Okay, good. Does anybody want to type in um, what their dictionary says for letter? I'm really interested. Who has the Usborne one? Do you do you want to type in what it says? Is that you, Aubrey? Who who said pot? That they had the Usborne dictionary. Does any? I would love to hear anybody else's definition. We can always look to one of my other dictionaries. So I also have this one, which is the Oxford Junior Dictionary. And I'm just going to look it up and see how it's, if it's at all different from what this other one says. Because I think that's really important, finding a dictionary that explains words in a way that's not too simple for you, not too hard, um, but also gives you enough information that you really like it. That, that's a really important part of having a dictionary is liking the way that they explain stuff. Okay, good. So Aurora says we're looking. Great. There is a, you're right, there's no middle letter. So there's two because it's 26. So it divides exactly into two different halves. So it would be MN, right? Okay. Milo says a symbol that stands for speech. Okay, cool. Good. So here's my other one. It says letters are the signs that we use for writing words such as A, B, or C. What's interesting about that is it doesn't talk about how each letter stands for a sound. So yeah, we use letters to write, but if you listen to this one, it says a mark used in writing or um, that stands for a speech sound. So if you only looked in this dictionary, you would not necessarily know because it only says letters are the signs that we use for writing words, that each letter actually stands for a very exact sound. Right? So that's actually really important. If we didn't know that the letter A meant that you say either a or a, ah, then you wouldn't necessarily have the same understanding of what the alphabet does. Okay, good. We've got one here. It says a symbol that stands for a speech sound and has a, and is part of an alphabet. Exactly. Okay, good. And then we have another one that says a sign that is part of an alphabet and is used in writing the letter A. Good. So that one is very similar to this one, which does not talk about how each letter stands for a different sound. So just really interesting. You have to make sure that your dictionary gives you enough information and isn't too little. Okay, good. So we're gonna go on to, let's see, make sure. Okay, good, we did that. Great, so now we're going to, let's see, we have, just a few minutes left. So I'm gonna look through these activities. These look like you do them, you can do them. If any of you guys have a Scrabble game at home, you can do these activities on pages 38 and 39. Um, those would be really fun to do at home. So um, 
It's mostly 38. So we can actually do the ones, we're gonna do the ones on 39 together. Ready? Okay. So here we go. I want you guys to tell me what letter comes after the letter F? So let's hear it. Who's gonna give me the first answer? What letter comes after the letter F? That's right. G, that's good. Milo's got it. Jacob's got it. Alan's got it. Aurora, Rowan, you guys are great. Okay, good. Let's go on to the next one. What comes after the letter Q? Who's the first one to answer? Jacob, R, Anya, got it. Milo, got it. Rowan, Alan, awesome. Okay, good. Don't cheat. I'm going to give you guys the next one to see who's first. Are you ready? What comes after the letter D? Who's got it? Jacob was first. He says E. That's absolutely right. Okay, good. Um, what letter comes before the letter B? What do I got? Anybody? Anybody? What letter comes before the letter B? That's right. Well, I don't know your name, but somebody registered without their name and they said A. So whoever you are, you're the winner. Okay, good. Um, here we go. What comes before the letter U? Ooh, what do we got on that one? Before the letter U. That's right. Anya got it. T is the right answer there. Okay. What comes before the letter K? Let's see who's, who gets this one first. Before the letter K. Before the letter K. AG got it. G, absolutely right. And how about after K? J, K, L. Okay, good. We got that. Milo was right on that one. What comes before the letter P? Before the letter P. Before the letter P. Who's going to get this one? Oh, Milo got it. Good. And what comes before the letter C? Who's AG got it? B, good. Alan, B, Aurora, B, Ethan, B, Milo, Rowan, you guys all got it. Okay, great. So write the letters from your answers to find out the secret message. Oh man, we didn't do that. Okay, we gotta go through and do it again. We gotta write down our secret message. So what comes, somebody's gonna have to type this down for me, okay? Here we go. What comes after the letter F? Because I don't have a pen, so I can't write these down. Um, anybody wanna help me out here? So we've got after the letter F, after the letter Q, after the letter D. Somebody writing this down for me? I hope Aurora says we can help. So we're gonna work together. Mila says it says great job. Hey oh, awesome. We got it. Okay, good. Um, okay, good. And then fill in the letters that come before and after each letter shown below. So I'm gonna probably let you guys do this on your own, but um, you can print out any part of this workbook and we're gonna meet up again next week and do a next, the next section. But if you want, you can finish, there's about four more pages of this section, which is part three of the first workbook. So this is the first using the dictionary workbook and we're wrapping up part three right now. Unless you guys wanna keep going, you guys wanna stay on and try to finish. Um, why don't you go ahead and raise your hand if you want to. You don't have to, but if you, if anybody wants to stay on, I want to just finish this section. So here we go. We're going to fill in the missing letter. So fill in the letter before B. Okay, good. If you want to stay on, stay on. We're going to just finish this. It probably only take us a couple minutes. If you want to pop off, totally fine. Thanks for coming. We'll be back next week. We'll be doing part four next week. Okay. Okay, good. So we got A, B, good. And then we have V blank X. So what do we got in the middle there? I'm just going to go ahead. Who's got it? And then O-P-Q-R-S-T-U-V. Anybody got it? W. Milo's got it. W. Exactly. Okay, good. I'm just going to go ahead. And then we have D. I'm sure somebody's going to get this really fast. Kiyosha, bye. No problem. I totally understand. A couple of people are popping off. Good. Okay, R. What do we have after between R and T? R. Anybody got an answer for me there? S. A-G says S. Exactly. N. We've got N. Rowan says S. Good. You guys are super fast at this. I can't even keep up with you on the answers. Milo says O. Good. L blank N. What do we got? L. This one's easy. M. Exactly. Rowan. Okay. And then we have D, E, F. Okay. Was anybody tracking that to, to write down the secret message? Rowan, you got the last one. Did anybody write those down so that we could find out what, they, what the secret message was? 
because I lost track. I'm trying over here to keep up with you guys because you're so fast and I can't even write these down fast enough. So hopefully somebody knows what the message is that we got there from our secret message. Anyone want to type it in and tell me? I'm dying to know. Okay. Um, is it awesome? Yes, it is awesome. Good job, AG. Nice. Okay, good. Now we have fill in the letter. What come, write what letter comes before or after each letter stone? So they've circled before on G. So we need to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we've got F there. Great, exactly, my That's good. And then K, what comes after K? J, good, X, that one's easy. Who's got X? X is Y, X, Y, Z, right? And what comes before exactly? G, Rowan, Y, good. Okay, what comes before R? Before R. Q, that's right, we got R. Um, Aubrey, I understand, no problem. Just hang out, just, just listen to the cool secret messages. Okay, good. M, what comes after M? Who's gonna get that one? M, after M is N, good. You guys are so fast, I love this. It's like a, Alan was first on that one. Good job, Alan. And then April was right behind him and then lots of people coming in. Okay, good. And then before I, who's got before I? Aurora H, that's exactly right. AG and Rowan were like tied right after she typed that. Good, Milo, you were in there too. B, A, B, what do we got next? C, AG's got that. Good job, good job. April, you were super fast there too. All right, um, and then this is T, S, T, who's got the next letter after T? U, AG, good job. And then before F, what do we got before F? Oh my gosh, you guys are so fast, I can't even keep up with you. Go easy on me. E, Rowan, good job. Okay, good. You know the letters of the alphabet go in a certain order from A to Z. This is called alphabetical order. When words are in the same order as the alphabet, they are in alphabetical order. Alphabetical order is useful when there are lots of words or names to keep track of. Let's look. So ask your teacher to show you examples of ways she uses alphabetical order. If you see any of the examples below, write a check mark in the box. So we obviously don't have any teachers here, but I can tell you that I could, when I'm on my computer, I have all of my files sorted by their name. So that's definitely something that I do. Does anybody have an example for us of anything that they put in alphabetical order? Does anybody do that? Um, mm, another thing that's in alphabetical order on my phone, all my names of my friends and my people that I call, they're all in order by the letters. Okay, uh, Aurora, you have your mom, so you could ask her library books. Good. Rowan knows his alphabet words on the bookshelf. So those, are, yeah, at a library, they're always in order. Okay, um, good. So I'm actually just gonna pull up my phone and show you guys. Here are, can you see the screen? I can't really tell, probably not. Anyway, you can ask to see your mom or dad's screen and you can see the order that their names are in in their contacts and those are gonna be in alphabetic order. Good, oh, Aurora says my siblings, that's awesome. What are your siblings? Dictionaries are definitely in alphabetic order. So that's right, a dictionary is a book full of words and their meanings. All the words in the dictionary are in alphabetical order and there is a separate section for every letter of the alphabet. Choose a dictionary you like. Going from A to Z, find the first word listed for each letter. So I'm gonna let you guys help me out with this. Okay, we're gonna just go to A. Wow, those are some really, oh, baby due in August, that's awesome. So we've got Aurora, Bellatrix, Carcanyon, is am I saying that right? And a baby due in August. Wait, what about D? Baby E? Okay, maybe I'm missing someone. A. It's A, good. Okay, so what's the first, if you have a dictionary, then I would love, oh, mom's got D, awesome. That's really cool to be in alphabetical order like that. So I'm gonna look up first letter, first one, and I would like somebody else to do, um, if you can, I'd like somebody else to do B while I do A. So the first one I have is aardvark. Yep, AG's got it. Okay, good, so let's see what the first one is for B. Did anybody look up B? Were you fast enough to get to B before me? I'm going. Bat. AG says bat. Well, I don't think that's the first one, but let's take a look. Babel is the first one that I have. B 
babble, which is to make baby talk or to kind of make a low bubbling sound like water, babble. That's right, Aurora's got the same one. Okay, let's do C. Can anybody get to the first letter in C, first word in C before me? I'm going, I'm going, does anyone beat me? AG, are you just guessing? You did it though, you got it, cab. AG said cab and he was right. Or she actually don't really know. <laughs> he said yes, okay, good. Well, thank you for being honest about just guessing. Okay, cool. So let's see here, what do we got? I'm gonna go to D. Anybody gonna beat me to D? Dab, dab, that's a good one. Rowan said dad, very close. Okay, here we go to E. E is each. That's a good one. Dab, good. And caboose, that's a good one. Dad, dab. Okay. Yeah, I'm skipping past the ones that are just the letter, and I'm going to the first word that I see. So I'm going to do F next. And you guys can totally race me and find your own. April says each. And Aurora says eager. So let's see, I'm really interested to see, I have each and then eager. So good, Aurora says fable, that's cool. Let me see what mine says. Does anybody else have a different one? Mine is also fable, so those match. Okay, cool. Um, and you guys can skip ahead. So why don't, we don't need to do all of them. So I want each of you guys to pick a letter we haven't done. Aurora says gab. I'm gonna go ahead and do J because that's what my name starts with is Jeannie. So I'm gonna, mine's J is jab. And Milo, great, let's all, yeah, let's all do the one that starts with our name if we haven't already done it. So Milo, what's the first one for M? Aurora says habit, good, that's a good one. Okay, good, what else we got? You can also do your last name if we've already done the one for your first name. Hard bark, awesome. Lab, rabbit, great. Okay, good job, you guys. Let's see what's next. Choose a different dictionary from the one you used for the last activity. Roll the block, then find the beginning of the section for the letter on the top of the block. When you find that section, put a check mark in the first box below. So we don't actually have a block, so I'm just gonna pick a letter and then I want you guys to find the first one, okay? So my first letter is M. So I'm gonna look it up too and we'll see if our dictionaries match. Um, I wanna know what is the first letter, first word, ma'am, it was the same one, good. Milo says ma'am, you guys were fast. AG, are, do you not have a dictionary? <laughs> That's okay, no, okay, good. Well, you're using mine then and you're just even faster than me. Okay, good. Aurora says macabre, That's a really cool word. Do you wanna tell us what it means? I don't even see, that one's not in my dictionary, but. I really like that word, so, but not everybody probably knows what that word means. So do you want to tell us what the definition is? Because that's why we have dictionaries, so we can find out new cool words. Let's see, I'm going to check over here. Okay, the next one we're going to do is we're going to do the letter X. Yes, the definition that she gives is gruesome, which means kind of gross or like really yucky and frightening, like kind of gruesome can just be like makes you look at it and you're like oof so a macabre thing would be like a story that's really gross and frightening or kind of scary like horror okay good so we're going to go to x and we're going to look and see what is the first letter for x anyone aurora says xmas really that's in there u v w see i'm going in alphabetical order did you guys hear that when i'm looking for the words in the dictionary i say the alphabet out loud to help me find them Mine is Xerox, which is the name of a company that makes the machines that copy stuff. And then I have Xmas for Christmas. That's right. And we got a couple of different answers. That's kind of cool that there's different, um, that everybody's got different words. Okay, good. X-ray, xylophone. Awesome. Okay, good. We're going to do one more and then we'll go on. I want you guys to tell me the first one for the letter R. What do we got? What's R? What do you start with, Mr. R? R is rabbi. It's like a person who's in charge of a Jewish group. Cool. And then I have rabbit after that. What do you guys find? Anybody found R? Okay. Yeah, we just have five more minutes here. That's right. Rowan says rabbi. Okay, good. So we're going to just try to finish. We're on the last page. So we just have a couple more things and then we'll wrap it up. So now we're going to 
we've kind of already been doing this actually. We've been checking different dictionaries to see because I've been doing my dictionary here and then you guys have been you're doing your dictionaries at home. So we've actually already done this. Some dictionaries have words that other dictionaries don't have. So there were quite a few like mine didn't have that word that um, you guys found in yours. And um, some a lot of times they start with the same one, but not always. Okay, good. So you know that sections of the dictionary follow the same order as the letters in the alphabet. This is actually a really cool picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to this so just so you guys can see the picture in case you don't have this up at home. So we're, this is the last page and then we're gonna be ending off. And this is the picture right here. So you see the, the beginning of, can you guys see my mouse? Can you like when I'm pointing at stuff with my mouse, can you guys see where that is? Okay, great. Thank you AAG for letting me know. Awesome, okay, good. So this is the front of the dictionary and this is the back, right? And here's the middle. And so we have, the beginning letters, and then we have the middle letters, and then we have the last letters. Okay, so it says, you can you know that the sections of the dictionary follow the same order as the letters in the alphabet. So words that start with A, B, C, D, E, F will be near the beginning of the dictionary. Words that start with K, L, M, N, O will be somewhere in the middle of the dictionary, and words that start with W, X, Y, Z will be near the end of the dictionary. Open the dictionary to the middle. What letter did you open to? Okay, good. I'm going to go back to, we're just going to do this right. I'm just going to eyeball it here. I am in J. That's funny. I would have thought it would be closer to M, but I'm actually in J. What about you guys? O, P, M. Anybody else? That's interesting that I ended up in J and you guys were much farther in the alphabet than me. That's interesting. Okay, good. And then the next thing says, Open the dictionary near the beginning. What did you open to? So I'm just gonna go like not all the way to the beginning, but kind of like you can see that that much. And I'm in C. What about you guys? A, E, D, C, C. Yeah, I think most of us are gonna end up in C. Okay, good. And open the dictionary near the end. What letter did you get to? I'm in T. That's funny, look, there's only this much left, but there's T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, six letters all those, there's not a lot of letter, not a lot of words to start with those last six letters. Okay, S, X, W, P, T, awesome. Okay, show your teacher what happens when you open a dictionary to a page near the beginning, the middle, and the end. All right, guys, we finished part three. That was awesome. So next week we'll be back and we're gonna do part four about more about alphabetical order, but that was great. I had a lot of fun with you guys. I hope you liked the class. Thanks for sticking around and finishing it with me. I'm glad we got through that section. And Aurora says this was so fun. And John says, thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. I love doing this. And Asher says, thank you so much fun. You're welcome. You're welcome, Ethan. Bye, Rowan. Thanks for coming, you guys. You're welcome. I'll see you next week, okay? Bye.